the pendant off. Okay. Let's talk about the new setup. Okay, so if you don't want to know what happened when I was packing this all the old setup, let me just catch you up real quick. Okay, so I have a problem. Uh, I need to pack my stuff and there's as you can tell a lot of stuff to pack but the um, the problem right now is that you see while I need to pack a lot of this stuff it's still a whole week before uh, I actually am moving and I still have quite a number of days and a quite a number of things I still need to use before we move that leaves me with like a whole lot of mess to pack up about one in, in one day I can only do about 60% of the packing today and that leaves me with about 40% of packing in like a whole day it's a Sunday night and we're moving Saturday or Friday which means I have to rush it over there um, at that time which is um, troublesome to say the least and I'm quite worried because I have to go into it like rush it. well what 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 can I do you know what I really hate packing I need a break, it's 1am, I'm gonna try to get a snack and a drink without making too much noise. Shh. Ooh, made it didn't wake anyone up didn't startle anyone um, the reason why it's 131 everyone's got work tomorrow or school tomorrow I don't it's my holidays so oh my god it's such a mess holy holy cow such a mess oh my god holy crap the biggest problem is not what to do but rather where to start it's always the same thing with packing but uh i'll just work my way around So basically what happened what happened was is the old house is getting renovated and that means I have to move out into a temporary rental apartment and uh, it's a much smaller room than before, I'm not complaining, it's perfectly comfortable but it's a lot more echoey, the ceiling is higher and everything, I'll find a way to solve that but let me give you a quick setup tour, you know, this the setup's not finalised, nothing's finalised, nothing's perfect yet, I'm still coming up with a lot of stuff but there are huge changes to the setup that I actually want to announce and uh, talk about because um, who doesn't want to learn about setups? Everybody loves setups. I mean, do you not like setups? I love like watching setup videos, just binge watching. Oh, what does this guy have in a setup? What does this guy have in a setup? Ah, huh, this guy's using a MacBook in a setup. All that stuff. Really, really fun to watch. So I figured I'll make a quick setup video. And also because nothing is complete yet, I need to finalized stuff before I can really get to making videos again and it's just been really busy and really really messy so let's get straight into the video stuff right So this is my setup. Um, with my time constraints, I will find it really hard to do like separate A roll and B roll. So I'll just do a run and gun, you know, point at stuff and talk about it, kind of 
setup tour because I don't have the time to do like a really in-depth one. I promise, I promise there'll be a really in-depth one once everything is completed and when the desk outside is packed as well because outside there is a table. Uh, the old desk, which you will remember from the old setup, is outside so it's my B-roll set. Also the park is next doors now which means I can go out and shoot video really conveniently which is a good thing. I can't wait to shoot outdoors. I need some ND filters though but I'll get to that. So this is my current setup. This is the setup that will be with me for the next year or so. Uh, one thing you might notice is that that's a laptop and my PC is down there. In fact, that's not even a PC anymore, that's the PC case. That's the Inwin 301. It's empty, I sold all the goodness inside. It's just a case because I'm moving to a laptop setup. If you notice, it's plugged in now with HDMI and USB because I've shipped into the Asus Swift tree as my whole thing, like for gaming, editing and whatnot because simply put, that PC was just like too much because all I do is play CSGO so that doesn't need too much graphics power and the laptop can handle that perfectly and for editing wise, the SSD on the laptop is so much better than the hard drives I had in the desktop and it was just taking up too much space and it was just sitting there so I figured I'd just sell it, it would be much more convenient. The table, here we've got the Blue Yeti, nothing's changed for the mics, I'm still using Video Mic Pro, the Blue Yeti is still here, I'm not going to talk about the cameras because a, a lot of things there have changed, so I'll do a whole video on my new Sony a7 III setup, but I'm not going to talk about that in this video, I'm going to be talking about this desk setup. So we've got the Philips SHP9500 here, nothing's changed, same pair of headphones, really good, really recommend them. Keychain, this is a Logitech G602. It's a wireless gaming mouse. I use it as a productivity mouse because it's not that great for gaming, but it's really, really good for productivity. This is the same mechanical keyboard, but it's got new keycaps on here, which look absolutely stunning in my opinion. Um, they look really Apple-esque, super clean, super minimalistic. Here's my lens. I just I just left it here for because I'm shooting B-roll for the video as well. Here is a few tripod heads on the table. This is some camera equipment I was taking out to film. Now it's a lighter running gun setup so I don't have my small rig cage on and I'm actually going to do a video on this so definitely stay tuned for that. That's my video head which is not on the tripod right now. That's my phone. Look at that. Look at that sweet wallpaper honestly. That's the most beautiful most beautiful watch in the world. That is a new prop. That is a film camera, a Seagull film camera. It looks really nice. Absolutely brilliant prop. G102. The mouse hasn't changed because I just love it. It's my favorite mouse. It was so cheap, but it's so good. It's so functional, so simple and so brilliant. Here's my desktop speaker. It's kind of funny, really. It's a soundbar for TVs. I know it's not really recommended, but it is what it is. It's a really, really nice sounding soundbar. So it works for what I can. I can't afford like studio monitors and desktop speakers. I don't even have the space for it. So what's the point? Here I have some power banks. That's not interesting. What's interesting is these two things here. So this is a Seagate server. It has a lot of like consumer functionality, but I'm just going to use it for backup by plugging the Ethernet cable into my Acer Swift tree. I have a USB adapter for it, so no worries there. The Acer Swift tree is really good. Four core, eight threads. It does video editing, no problem. Plug it into the display because the color accuracy of this monitor is terrible. But this one is actually much better. In fact, I'm going to sell this and get a new monitor because the color accuracy is still not good enough for color grading that I do. Um, right now, I have the Acer on a laptop cooler. This is the Cooler Master Notepal LM1. Keeps things nice and cool. That's my old PC case. That's a slipper. And this are some tripods and monopods and some camera sliders. So if you see some slider shots, be excited because this is the new slider. I'm going to review it once I have more time with it. This is the Endure, I don't know how to spell it, slider. It's super cheap but super good. It's a ripoff of the Aldochrome Slider 1 Plus, which is a good thing actually. That's a ripoff, super cheap version of a super good tripod. So my soft boxes are gone because I don't have the space for them. So I have one LED panel, the Nanguang CN. T96, really nice little light there. 
and the ceiling light's actually not too bad here, which is a good thing because it gives me pretty good soft lighting. Uh, oh yeah, big upgrade. You might notice this LED strip on the back of the table here. Gives it a very nice glow. Looks very nice. In fact, if I turn this light off, it looks even better. But yeah, that's a fan. That's my bed. It's not interesting. And that's my closet. Nothing in there except skeletons. Um, yeah, so... Apart from that, I've got some other interesting stuff to show you. That's the subwoofer for my soundbar, which is good for sound. This is my new camera essentials. Camera essentials kind of box. It does so much, it has so much. It's got batteries for different cameras, USB port hub, SD card reader in here. It's got some cleaning equipment, uh, SD cards, cable management, and underneath it, so yeah. Let's take a look underneath it. Uh, it's like a toolbox, really, and it has so much spaces for stuff. It, it's got all of my lens caps, which is a camera essential. I've got an audio extension cable for my microphone if I need to do better audio setup. Charging uh, plug for quick charge. Lens cap. This one's a phone tripod mount, very important as well. USB 3 cable, my portable hard drive, the Lacey 2 terabyte drive that I bought, uh, that I unboxed a while back. That is what I need. Here is a soft pouch. Here is the most powerful video light in the world because it's so versatile, so portable. The Iwata Genius Suite. I'm going to do a full, very good video on this because it's so bright, look at this. That's like the lowest brightness, let me just, holy hell. I'm gonna turn off the room light just to show you how powerful it is. That's my room with this light and you can change the color temperature too, so really nice disco there. There's nothing else here really. Here I have my graphics card, which I'm going to sell in like two days. Two hard drives here, 3.5 inch, one terabyte each. They had all my old files on the PC. I'm gonna put a data off of them and store them in a server or something. Um, yeah, that's where all the old videos from ZX Tech lies. They're not there anymore. So this actually is plugged into my speaker now and I have to say using a soundbar is like a super cost effective way of really being a desktop speaker because it sounds really good it absolutely does I mean it's not amazing but it really does the job very well so this is the whole setup it's nothing new like nothing you've not seen before really except the server and the LED and the desk of course the desk is new speaking of the desk there is some stuff in here two boxes cables, adapters, chargers, wallet, tape, remote, nothing all that important. But yeah, nothing really too new, but it's organized differently, um, hopefully more effectively, uh, except of course the fact that the PC is gone now and it's a laptop setup, which I think is a huge change for this channel. So yeah, that's it for this little setup tour. I'm sweating a lot because it's really warm without the air conditioning on, but uh, hopefully you found it interesting. I'm really excited to make stuff here from now on. Let me get into good light. I'm really excited to make um, good videos from now on here. That's the reason I haven't had time to really make super in-depth tech videos. If you're wondering, um, that's because I've been moving and stuff. I'm really sorry. I'll get back to as much tech content as possible, but I want to, you know, expand my reach, which is why I've been experimenting with some vlog style content. Um, as always, thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe, like, comment, all that stuff. I'll see you in the next video. 